Hello everybody, all of you are welcome in English class. Today we are going to study a beautiful story. The story is Advance. It is written by Henry Lopez, the Congolese writer. It's a question, of course, writer, diplomat, and uh, political figures, and its important works. Tribalixu, San Tamsan, Lepleur's Rie. Now let's go to about major character. Major character Carmen. Carmen is the main character of the story. Very poor. She is very poor and miserable lady. She is forced to work at rich person's house despite her sick son. The son is very sick. Even that typical situation, she is forced to work service to somebody else. Madam. Madam, an unnamed mistress who speaks French. She's a rich lady and usually she's very rude to Carmen, her servant. Frankwich. Frankwich, a small daughter of Madam. Carmen looks after her and she's a difficult child. Hector, only one living son of the Carmen, she can honor the digit at last. Hornan, the old watchman of Madam House, criticizes the honor. He doesn't have significant role. Now let's go to the plot summary. Carmen. Carmen is a poor black servant who works for a rich white woman of French origin. Her main duty was to look after Madame's daughter, Frankwich, and other domestic work. Frankwich was a difficult child, especially for feeding. She was not an easy child. One day Carmen wanted to go home early. The reason was that because her son, Hector, was very sick was suffering from diarrhea as well as the malnutrition. She wanted to take him to the hospital because you know she did not like to miss her only living son. She had already lost her two children because of disease malnutrition. There were other members in the family but they were so much superstitious so they believed in fetish instead of medical science. They blame her for the death of her children as she did not obey parents' suggestion of marrying Kitonga, a rich man who had two wives earlier. Carmen finished her walk on time that particular day. She made Frankwish sleep, the difficult child, okay. She was terribly worried about her son Hector because she was so sick. So she wanted to go to Orly to take Hector to the doctor. She wanted to ask some money to the madam, but madam was busy playing bridge, a type of cards game. Carmen had been ordered earlier not to disturb her madam in the game. Later, Carmen gathered some courage and asked some money in the form of advance because she didn't have money but the madam gave a long lecture and the threatened to save from the job and she repeated that she had already given and she suggested her to give balance tight instead of advance but the situation was that she did not have money eventually managed to give some aspirin some medicine to Carmen and promises her to provide some money the next day but she did not give on that day. Carmen hurried to her home. It took two hours quite long distance. She tried to run but she could not because the reason was that she was weak and has not slept and eaten well for previous days. Finally when Carmen reached home some women were crying. When she approached home she found her only child Hector has passed away. Very, very tragic situation. 
okay let's see the critical theme the advance is one of the popular story the story excellently depicts the economic gap between rich and poor in african countries and how rich people exploit the poor ones this exploitation is seen particularly in difficulties faced by carmen because of poverty and the cruelty of her white mistress she miss her all three children it is really very heart touching sad story thank you stin thank you very much for your listening